Hello once again, and welcome back to Hoosier History, Legends, and Heroes. What I'm going to share with you on this video was a tragedy that happened years ago that I didn't know anything about until a few months ago when I was driving through Putnam County, heading into Park County to visit Covered Bridges. I spotted this monument on the side of the road. I couldn't read it at the time, but I noticed there was an American flag flying so I thought this must be something of importance. At the time, I had told myself if I passed this monument on the way home, I was going to stop and take a look at it. I did pass it, and I did stop, and I'm glad I did. The monument states, lost in military plane crash one mile north of here. Lieutenant Colonel Rufus B. Davidson, 48, Major Fred M. Murchison, 43, U.S. Army Air Corps, September 7, 1941. September 7, 1941 is 81 years ago this very day. Rufus B. Davidson was born on October 19, 1893 to Benjamin and Lillian Davidson in the state of Georgia. He did attend the University of Georgia. Rufus would become a member of the United States Army Air Corps, and he took his first flight on September 11, 1918. Because he was a pilot and he was an officer before the signing of the armistice on November 11, 1918, which ended World War I, he would be honored as a member of the Order of Dedalians. The Order of the Dedalians is an honored membership for American military pilots. He would marry Vivian Alexander in 1922, and they had two children. At one time, Davidson was an instructor in military tactics at Georgia Tech. Fred M. Murchison was born March 23, 1898, to Kenneth and Clara Murchison, in Washington, D.C. He would begin his flying career in 1919. Fred graduated from the University of Oklahoma. He would marry Moselle Montgomery in 1936. They had no children. Davidson would be assigned to Scott Field, Illinois from Shreveport, Louisiana on June 1, 1939. Murchison was a member of the Army Air Corps Reserve and was on extended duty. He was assigned to Scott Field on January 13, 1941. They were both experienced flyers and they were assigned as assistant supervisors of Air Corps training. At 6.45 p.m. on Saturday, September 6, 1941, Davidson and Murchison would leave Scott Field, Illinois to fly a Northrop A-17 airplane to Patterson Field, Ohio. This was considered a routine flight that would take them over the state of Indiana to Ohio and returning early the next morning back to Scott Field in Illinois. The Northrop A-17 was a two-seat, single-engine, monoplane, attack bomber, which was first built in 1935 for the U.S. Army Air Corps. In September of 1941, the U.S. was not officially fighting in World War II, but we did send over supplies and ammunition to the Allies. We would send the Northrop A-17 to help the Allies. The British would call the A-17 Nomad. This was just a few months before the bombing of Pearl Harbor in the entrance of the American military into the war. Just before 5 a.m. Sunday, September 7th, Davidson and Murchison would be flying over western Indiana, nearing Illinois. They would just pass Putnam County and enter Park County. They would be tragically flying in the middle of what was described as a savage thunderstorm. A local by the name of Thompson stated that he had heard a plane circling and said that it flew so low that it shook his house before he heard an explosion. A farmer named Ragsdale said that he saw a red glow inside of the plane 
before it smashed through the trees. Ragsdale said that the plane circled his house twice before going down. This happened just outside of Vivalia, Indiana. It is said that the plane went down nose first. The crash occurred in a wooded, hilly area, and the plane cut a 100-yard section through trees after striking the ground. The gas tank would explode, catching the wreckage on fire, but the heavy rain would extinguish the fire. The first on the scene would find that the main part of the plane had been hurled several yards from the scene of the impact. The engine was found about 40 feet away from the wreckage. They would find Murchison's body outside of the plane, and they would find that his parachute was partially opened. At the time, it was unclear if he had been thrown from the plane upon impact or had attempted to parachute to safety, but too late. Davidson's burned body would be found inside the plane. Both of their bodies would be taken to the coroner's office in nearby Rockville, which was in Park County. The state police would guard the wreckage while investigators from Schoen Field, Indianapolis, opened up the inquiry. They would be joined by investigators from Scott Field. Lieutenant Colonel Rufus B. Davidson was buried in Arlington National Cemetery on September 10th. Major Fred M. Murchison would be buried at West Hill Cemetery, Sherman, Texas, on September 10th. I want to thank you for watching the story of two Army Air Force officers and their tragic ending during a thunderstorm in 1941 that happened in Park County, Indiana. Please support this channel by subscribing. Also like, share, and leave a comment. Be sure to click on the notification bell so that you will be notified when the next Hoosier History, Legends, and Heroes video is uploaded. Until next time.